year ago, the Indian Armed Forces started grappling with the possibility of a two-front war at the same time. And now the essential role the Indian Air Force is going to play if such a situation arises is undeniable. In its 78th year, the Indian Air Force stands at the crossroads of new challenges, new victories. Air forces don't win wars by themselves, but no war of the future can be won without them. And if you personally ask me, the Indian Air Force will always be the first option or the first instrument that the government would exercise in case the balloon goes up, because we can react the fastest. There have been so many campaigns across the world. Everywhere the air power has proven its worth. On 15 June 2009, India inducted its first batch of Sukhoi 30 MKI fighters at the Air Force Station in Tezpur. It was also a year when tension was mounting along the Chinese border in Arunachal Pradesh. Now with a squadron of Sukhois in Tezpur and three army corps of about 100,000, the logistical wake-up has been sharp and steady. In terms of quality, I think we have an edge against them. Most important factor is the strategic location of Tezpur. If one looks at the map, from the, if you start from the northwest, we've got Bhutan, we've got Nepal, then we've got Tar, the Tibetan Autonomous Region, up north, we've got the Chinese, in the east we've got Myanmar, and in the south we've got Bangladesh. So if one is looking at a strategic location, I think Tezpur perfectly fits the bill. 350 kilometers away from Tezpur is the Chinese border. Despite these yearly handshakes at 17,000 feet, the underlying tension is an open secret. There is also the bitter memory of a defeat in 1962, a war in which the Indian Air Force was never used. Fueled, armed and ready, it kept waiting. That mistake is almost likely to be never repeated. Almost 50 years later, this corner of Assam is crucial not just for the country, but also for the Indian Air Force. And leading the charge of change are the Sukhoi 30 MKIs. For the IAF, she is the queen of the skies. 22 meters long with a 15 meter wingspan, it is the flagship fighter aircraft of the nation. It's a very, very unique... Uh, Wing Commander Dangi shows us around the magnificent machine. With a twin cockpit, one for machine navigation, the other for flying. It is a truly swing roll aircraft. Uh, it can stay afloat for nearly about 10 hours or so in air with use of air to air fueling and the sensor which is got namely the radar the other sensors uh, allow us to uh, pick up the enemies at very very far ranges with uh, nearly about 100 percent uh, probability and these are the men who will take her up to the skies this is the most uh, potent weapon we have we are at par with any uh, other defense force in the world. We are now quite capable of taking any contingency. So what makes the Sukhoi 30 MKI what it is and what does it take to fly it? It takes a lot of hard work, dedication, passion to fly and of course an attitude to be a fighter pilot. The biggest advantage I would say is uh, greater endurance in the air and uh, large uh, load carrying capacity. Every day you find something new, you learn something new. So it's uh, uh, quite rewarding. To fly in a, a machine like the Su-30 requires a lot of preparation on ground. It requires a lot of studying.